Hi guys, welcome back to the Bespoke Bride channel. So we haven't done a DIY for you in quite a while now, so we thought it was the best time we did one. And as the weather has been absolutely beautiful, we thought we would do it outside. So you can see the gorgeous view in the background of the river <laughs> Welcome to our homes. <laughs> yeah, welcome. But I'm not going to be in this whole video today because I'm going to leave it to Jess to show you how to do something really tasty and yummy, which is a smoothie popsicle. I'm basically obsessed with juices and smoothies at the moment. If you follow us on Instagram, you'll know that I'm kind of all over the place with them. So, what better way than a smoothie popsicle? Yeah, it will cool you down and refresh you and spice all about in the summer. And it's healthy. Yeah, and it's so good. Yes. I'm going to leave you with Jess. <laughs> and I'm going to do the Thank filming. You. So, I'll <laughs> see you at the end of the video. Bye. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is chop up our fruit and pop it into our blender. By the way, if this sounds a little bit funny, it's just because it's quite windy out here today, so you know, just ignore it. <laughs> Next, we're going to pop all of our fruit into our blender. Next, we're going to take three tablespoons of natural yogurt and pop them in the blender with our fruit. After that, we're going to add two teaspoons of honey. Unfortunately, we don't have one of those fancy blenders that doesn't require a plug, so we're going to need to go inside and blend this up. Someone's got their sad face on because they're not allowed outside. <laughs> okay, come on, come on, you can come. Come on then, you're allowed. <laughs> right, so we're all blended up now, everything's well combined, looking delicious. And it smells amazing, by the way. Now we're going to put it into our popsicle containers. <laughs> Sorry. Containers! Containers! I'm just going to pour this into a jug to make it a little bit easier. Oh yeah, it looks so good. <laughs> <laughs> the sticks are going in! Oh yeah. Right, so now we're going to put them in the freezer. They need to stay in there for at least four hours, but obviously the longer the better. Woohoo! Time's up! It is ready to eat our <laughs> I'm so excited. I can tell. I know. We have ran these into the hot tap just to sort of loosen them up so they should come out. Oh, they're coming out a lot easier. Without breaking them. I am so excited. <laughs> what a healthy, yummy treat. Yeah, it is well, super healthy. I think they're yummy. We'll check. I better check. They're definitely yummy. <laughs> <laughs> so if you like this DIY please give it a big thumbs up and if you have any ideas for any future projects you'd like to see then just leave us a comment below and we will try our best to get them done. We do like a challenge don't we? We do. I'm sure we can give it a go. Have a great day and enjoy your popsicles. Bye!